Hi, beta. Uh, have a look at this question. Suppose there are two firms producing a differentiated product. Suppose firm one faces an inverse demand function, which is given to you. And you're also given with the cost function of firm two, uh, firm one. And there is a very important information which is given to you is that firm two wants to maintain one by three of the market share. Find the output of firm two. Pause the video, try to do it yourself first. Okay, now, because firm two, <clears throat> wants to maintain one by three of the market share. Okay. Now, what do you mean by this? Output of firm one plus output of firm two should be equal to this, right? Now, if uh, your Q2 is equal to half Q1, so in place of Q1, I can actually write 2Q2, right? So this thing will become what? 3Q2 equals to capital Q. Capital Q is, uh, sorry, small Q2 is capital Q by three. So form two is having one by three of the market share. And this is when Q2 is equal to half Q1. Hmm? Form one's profit is what? P1 into Q1 minus C1. What is P1? 100 minus 2Q1 minus Q2 in place of Q1. Okay, that's fine. Minus 2.5 Q1 square. Beta, can I write in place of Q2 half of Q1? This is the entire point of the question. the way you have written this. Otherwise, other things are mechanical. You guys can do it. So once you solve this, uh, you will be getting what? 100 uh, Q1 minus 2Q1 square minus Q1 square by 2 minus 2.5 Q1 square. What is pi one equals to? I mean, once you will solve this, you'll be coming, you'll be having 100 Q1 minus 5 Q1 square. So once you solve this up, what is del pi one by del Q1? 100 minus 10 Q1 equals to zero. So what is Q1 equals to 10? If Q1 is 10, what is Q2 equals to? half of 10, that is 5. So what is the output of firm 2 in equilibrium? 5. Right? So the way they have given this information, that is the entire idea of the question. Right? Chale. Thank you, beta.